I will not be repeating anything that we talk about. I will not be following up with anybody to tell them what you did or what you need. But if you need the support, I'm more than happy um, to try to walk you through that process. But that would be behind the scenes. I don't I don't do it um, public publicly here on um, TikTok. But I, I can inbox you if you don't mind. Okay. Is thank that okay you. With you? Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, I'll be for that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll reach out to you. Thank you so much. If you answer, it's okay. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can always inbox me. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever you. I can. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure I answer you. Okay. okay. Uh, Thanks, Barb. I'm going to jump down, okay? Hey, Miss Barb. Hi, panelists. How y'all doing? Y'all, listen. Hold on. Y'all, real. I love, love, love. I I love y'all respect, but it's just Barb. Barb, don't put no miss on that thing, man. Okay, go ahead, babe. Miss Sugar, I know what you're going through. It's been 15 years since I lost my five month old baby. It's like it's just today just happened. Just That's keep praying and keep God in your heart. Everything's gonna work out, baby girl. I just have to get out of here. I'm getting too upset. I understand. Well, thank you so much for your courage and I'm sorry for your loss as well. Thank can you I, so uh, much. Can I, can I say something? Yes, absolutely. Um, And th this is to, to everyone. You know, it's a lot of people um uh, feel like i just want sympathy i want pity i you know just some everything but you know what sympathy would be nice i was gonna say just sugar to you know, deserve that just to There's know nothing wrong with that I care Don't you cry, care your oh, baby for no. 12 years off. every single oh, no. day Every single day, I don't your want heart people yearns to take care of. It. Sugar, oh fuck God. them. No, hold on. No, no, hell no. Hold on. Fuck them. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all about, about to get cussed out. Sugar, y'all about to get cussed out. Sugar, don't even look in the comments. Spark, because here's the thing. Spark going to cuss y'all ass uh, out. Trina going to cuss y'all ass out. And I'm going to cuss y'all motherfucking ass out about sugar. Here's the thing. When somebody right. moves, moves a family, <laughs> they deserve sympathy and empathy. They deserve compassion. They deserve help. They deserve to be able to talk to people. Y'all are fucking crazy. Can y'all please mute her? They don't no, I'm gonna drop her down for a minute to let her recover from that. Let me I let me hope, make you I aware really hope that if y'all lose Trina, somebody, hold on, Trina, hold on one second, Trina, here, because I'm pissed. The motherfuckers that streaming this goddamn live because when I got dropped, I was I, I scrolled the streets. I'm let me let me say it out loud since y'all streaming or whatever. That lady did not come over here using Nietzsche name to get no fucking um, donations, none of that shit. She came up here and told her story. We was 20 minutes in before that lady, before Nietzsche name was even mentioned. Or whatever. Don't go on your mind. Let me correct you. That, that, is, that is not even what happened. That is not what, what, what happened. What happened, to come was, up here. what happened was I heard her on a live talking and for, uh, she would say she asked someone for $37. I reached out to her because I was going to say, give me the cash. I was going to send her $37. But then I seen a message from her and I said, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? When I read her message and I sent her more than $37, not y'all motherfucking business. She had no intentions on bringing her shit here. I was just saying like how God moved. That's what we was talking about. The subject was yes. how God moves and you don't know what's happening. Because yes. I had not seen the message from her. It was just a quick You know that fucking crime. You know that fucking crime, you know that fucking crime family can never be wrong. But one thing about it, Who is if y'all the FOE, the crime family, motherfuckers in that word about sugar. No, I'm, tell, I'm, I'm not the, playing. The I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Can you hold on? Okay. I want to yeah, say yeah. something directly to Sugar. I'm not playing. Hold on, Kiana. Yeah, no, don't you say nothing to Sugar yet. Let her calm down. No, it's not like that, Barb. I just, not even just to Sugar, to me and everybody. 
because people on this app will have you think that you don't deserve for people to to care, that you don't deserve for people to have your back, that you don't deserve support. That's some that's bullshit. It's bullshit. Everybody does, especially through grief. Like I just said, it's people that ain't never bounce back from losing somebody. That shit is hard. It's hard. And to still have to carry on with your life, that shit is hard. If you don't empathize or you don't sympathize or you think it's bullshit, leave the lie. But I hope y'all know you shortening your own days and blocking your own blessings when y'all see somebody clearly going through it and decide to fuck with them when they ain't did shit to you, regardless of what you think about them. You think they a liar? You think they this? You think they that? You still fucked up because they have done nothing to you. And you choose in a moment where you see they hurting to make it worse and you uh, think they a bad person? Poor turn on my turn on my and let the record show Erica came in here and told what the FOE was doing. But I just motherfucking said I'm not the one she to be said, She didn't say FOE. She just said she just, I'm lying. She just yeah. said I'm not lying. Can you not the energy oh. from nature for a second? Can, can I just say what? something real quick, hold on, please? Hold on, hold on, hold on y'all. What, what happened? Cash. I just wanted to shift the energy from Nietzsche really quick. Sugar is still in here. Um, and I didn't come up here. Well, I did come here to speak directly to her, but what I have to say will be very brief. And I just think that like to elevate the energy focusing on like whatever the fuck Nietzsche is doing, I just don't know if it's like the most helpful thing while she's in here trying to know, just calm not, down. Is this not live and not about Nietzsche? You do no, know. No, I understand that. I do. Okay. That's why I wanted to just say what I had to say. Okay. Um, I so do. I, first of all, sugar, my heart goes out to you. Um, my condolences truly. I um, can't imagine how you're feeling. And I, I want to say that um, while I haven't lost a child, of course, like I um, lost my grandmother and I was a caregiver for her. And I think a lot of people don't understand that um, caregiving grief is um, slightly different from just regular grief. Uh, you are with these people, you know, for long periods of the day with her every single day, day in, day out. Um, and also, unfortunately, part of that caregiving is understanding that um, the grieving process will come. So you start grieving even before that person passes. Um, and that creates a lot of very like complex emotions um, when that person does uh, eventually pass on and see peace. Um, I want her possibly to look into um, post caregiver syndrome. Um, it's something that I personally had to deal with that I didn't even recognize myself because I thought it was just normal grief. Um, and there's a couple different like phases of it, you know, stress, burnout, compassion, fatigue. So the emotions that you are probably going through sugar, um, the highs, the lows, the just feeling exhausted, not being able to help yourself, let alone um, possibly be there in a job setting, like those are all normal. They really are. And um, I, I think that uh, it, it just takes time, it takes support, um, and it takes self-compassion because um, it, it's not selfish for you to pour back into you right now. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say is that um, I used to live in New Orleans. My family is from there. And I know that the system can be very difficult for people to access resources. Um, but I just wanted to give you two and I'll send you these through the inbox. But maybe um, if there are other people in here who are connected in any way, you might recognize these names. Um, NAMI, it's N-A-M-I, New Orleans. They offer um, free and sliding scale behavioral health services. And you can specifically mentioned that you're looking for grief counseling when it comes to um, caregiver grief and they will connect you with private therapists um, who will essentially work with your situation so whether you have insurance or not you will be guaranteed to see someone um, who can specifically sort of speak to your needs the other thing I want to mention is that Oshner has a really comprehensive um, mental wellness program um, and I know for at least when I was living there, um, they had people who came to um, my family member's home. So it was a situation in which they you didn't even need to like leave home or anything like that. And if you're in uptown, like you're definitely in their network. Um, and the last thing I wanted to say is to those who may not understand certain actions um, or the way that certain people move after they lose somebody in that capacity, I would encourage you to look at, um, you know, caregiver grief, look up, you know, post caregiver syndrome, CPTSD. Um, these are things that, again, just complicate normal grief. And, um, oh, you've seen the Oshner building or the, 
Well, because I don't know about the NAMI office, but I mean, you know, Oshner is like the big hospital there. So look into that. And I think it might help some people extend that empathy a little bit just because it, it is it's losing somebody on top of that. But you also feel like you've lost a little piece of yourself um, and it can just be really hard to deal with. And it takes quite a long time um, to just start to cope again. So my heart goes out to you. I am going to also send you a DM. And the, okay, sorry, one last thing. It's hurricane season in New Orleans. New Orleans always gets hit with some type of storm. She said she's uptown. So shit happens. Um, if y'all can, I'm going to reach out to her and see about setting up an Amazon wish list so that she can get an emergency kit. Um, so that way, when the lights do go out and it's not of her fault that she will have things that are available at the house. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes them a long time to turn the power on. It gets hot as fuck down there. It's very humid. So I just want to put that out there as well. Um, so this unfortunately complicates her time because there might be emergencies that are outside of her control um, that are afflicting her during this time of rebuilding. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, right, thank thanks. you so much. I'm, I'm going to say this to y'all. Y'all get on my motherfucking nerves. So listen to this, right? If y'all feel, if you feel that she's doing what? Let me tell you something. That is her burden to bear. Her burden to bear if she's getting over someone. Guess what? That's her cross to bear. She may not get the hit now. If she's lying, guess when she gonna, she gonna feel it. So before you guys become the judge and the jury, try a little empathy. Try it. It may work. That's why some of you in the predicament you in now. Because you don't feel shit. And if it's not laid on your heart to help somebody, then don't fucking don't. do it. And I just want to add. It's simple. I, I had spoke to her over in my life. And this is why it's so hard for people in the community to reach out or speak out. Because the same community that they're reaching out and speaking out in is the same community that's going against them and that is hard for a person to hold that story knowing that if she speaks out on it the community is going to go against her and we got to stop doing that to each other we got to stop making these judgments before we even know anything we all are going through some sort of pain some sort of hurt However, she goes about her pain and her hurt is how she goes about it. But where's your support when it comes down to showing somebody that we all are hurting? When is your support when it comes down to not having selective choice when it comes to this community? We are all crying and we're all screaming in different ways. All we want to know is who's listening. I, I, wait a minute. Uh, uh, a miracle. Hold on, y'all. You, you're not you know, showing hold your death on, certificate. Hold on. Okay, Atlas, you know I fuck with you, right? But at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm tired of your ass too because your ass, la you latches on. You latch on to all the motherfucking sad and soft stories. When you gonna latch on to a motherfucking happy story? No, real I shit. I don't latch on to sad stories. If you go follow you my do. other pages, hold on, listen. If you go follow my other pages, I talk about moon stars and quasars and higher education. I this is my gaming page. That that I, hold on, listen. The stories that are going around in messy TikTok is these stories. What are you talking about? I'm not latching on to the stories. I just you, happen yeah, to be in the listen, same algorithm. You, well, listen, 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 listen. You did this shit with Keela, right? You did this shit with Glock. You you did this shit multiple times, right? All I'm asking is, like, for once, when it's not a story where it's sad or bashing someone, when will you partake in in a story what, that that's fulfilling with straight happiness? Nothing dealing with this person or that person being mad or whatever. Like, it, it's giving personal agenda or sympathy. Like, it's giving, like, you that, like, it, it, you know what it's giving to me? Uh, who is who is unmuted? Because uh, I can't hear myself. It's giving, it's giving, like, it's giving Undertaker. Like, if you can be at a funeral, 
you would give the speech at the funeral and, and it's annoying. You're like, like, it's real. Like I've never seen you in a good light. Thank you for the, um, sub I, Madison. Thank you. Uh, I've never seen that. And I would like to see that from you because right now, the only thing I see is negative energy. It, it's like a dark light. You talk about moon caught stars. The fuck I can't see it. Cause it's dark. Cause all I hear is dark shit from you. Negative. Barb, you your energy to life. Barb, what? I'm sorry you no, feel I'm that not way. Dead ass motherfucking serious. Like it, what? What bitch? How? How can I be a real bitch if I see her and hold that shit and lie to you? I'm being truthful. You, you know what? You may not. You may disagree. You may not like me for what I said. But when 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 you see it later, I guarantee you, you you ain't gotta tell me. You could be like, damn, that bitch hit on the head. Cause all we see is negative shit from you. It's annoying. It's like you're oh, a leech relaxing yeah. on to the negative energy. Find right, something can positive. Can I, leech that shit and pour out. Okay, can I speak now? No. All right. Uh, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm sorry that you don't follow my other pages where I actually talk about helping the community, where I actually talk about buying land and uh, helping the community, where I'm doing that in my physical life. I'm sorry that you haven't followed me or uh, been on my 35K page where I speak about stuff like that. I'm sorry that the times that I intervene just happen to be times that I see people getting done wrong and I just happen to speak up for it. I, I, I You are entitled to your opinion and I'm sorry that you don't don't see the good things that I do. I you don't. I, I, it's like you're the TikTok being crump. I, I'm sorry. That's who you seem like to me. The TikTok being crump. Anything negative come, you're there. You don't have to always be there. You know what you could do? You could pray and, and, and speak positivity and atmosphere. That's what I would like to see from you, at least. I, I put that on God. You know, um, unfortunately, you know, I, I, I ain't never care too much for you. So therefore, I'm not going to follow you. You know what I'm saying? You know that. You knew that. You was blocked from my page. I am blocked you because I didn't have that, that same energy. You know what I'm saying? But you got to let that shit go, bruh. Like, I'm telling you, Barb, can I play a little devil's advocate, though? Because I feel like that could be said about damn near 99 percent of the people on this side. It, of the it can, but you right. It can. But this motherfucker here with the stars, moves and horseshoes, it's annoying. <laughs> Okay. Like, no, I've seen it and I, it, it became annoying and that, and, 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 and you may not like what I'm saying, but other people feel that way. They just wasn't brave enough to tell you. Like, even when you was on, um, diamond panel, you were soaking up so much positive energy, but you want to give it out. I, I, this is my, my perspective. You don't have to go about what I'm saying. I promise you don't, but just take heed or listen, take a little piece of it. That same positive energy that you absorb and vo vo floating around that you want to speak of on your other platform, shoot it the fuck out and stay away from the negative. Even if 